everyone. It is Miss Karen from A Time for Kids. Welcome to our online story time. Today, what we are talking about is apple tree sorting. All right, so here at A Time for Kids, we always bring the fun and learning together. We are a preschool readiness program. So everything we do in this program works on all those foundational skills that help to get your child ready for school. So whether you are in a school program now, this can serve as an enrichment program to that program, or if you're not in a preschool program right now, this provides a great substitute. We work all aspects of child development. We do music and movement. We do fine motor development, gross motor development, listening skills, storytelling, and early literacy. So if you guys are ready to have some fun, follow along with Miss Karen because it's always a great time when it's a time for kids. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna change it up today. We are doing a different hello song. So for this song, you're gonna to need to stand on up because we are going to be waving hands, stomping feet, waving our arms up high, bending down to touch our toes. We're gonna to dance around and jump up and down. So let's get ready to have some fun, boys and girls. This is my good morning song. So here we go. Let's get ready. We can wave those hands or clap our hands, whatever you want to do. I like to clap along to this one. Touch those toes again. This time, tickle your toes. How are you? How are you today? Then twirl, twirl around. How are you? You spin around. How are you? I'm gonna go this way so I don't get dizzy. How are you today? Jump, ready, jump. How are you? Jump up and down, how are you? Jump up and down, how are you? How are you today? And dance oh, dance, around. how would you dance? How are you? Dance around, how are you? Maybe like this? Dance around, how are you? How are you today? However you want to dance. Now we're going to listen, ready? Maybe move your hand like this, like it's waving with the music. It's like swimming. How are you today? Wave hello. Now wave. How do you do? Wave hello. How do you do? Wave hello. Hi there. How do you do? How do you do today? Listen to Listening music. again. job you guys all right everybody that was a different song that we did to say hello this morning moving all of our body parts we are going to continue with some movement so boys and girls if you weren't standing for that song we're going to stand on up now we are going on our train ride so we always do our train song at a time for kids and what we're doing is we are saying the same words over and over again so that we all learn it we are going to make our arms act like the wheels on the train 
We're gonna chug a chug around in a circle. So wherever you are right now, it might be your living room, your den, your basement, your kitchen, wherever you are, that is gonna become your train track. So we're gonna make our arms move like this. We're gonna chug a chug around and at different points, we will stop our train and do some big arm movements. All right, you guys, if you are new to the program, just follow along and do what I do. We do things in succession because grownups, we are teaching them sequencing. But boys and girls, we are repeating and we are repeating because we are practicing our skills. All right, you guys, let's get ready for that train ride. Let me see your wheels moving. All right, and let's get ready. As soon as the music starts, I'm gonna move around in my space and make that my train tracks. Here we go. So we're moving around, getting some exercise. There's a train and it rides. on an activity. So what we're gonna do today is a sorting activity. And sorting means that we put the same pieces together in a group, okay? Just like you belong to your family, right? Certain colors belong to a color group. And grownups, when we're teaching sorting, that's all we're doing is classifying items together by similarity, okay? And so a lot of times people say, oh, my child can't do this yet. 
It's okay. We're working on those skills. But as early as Sesame Street, they've always done a skit that was called, which one of these is not like the other? And what that does is it begins to classify items by sameness. All right, so boys and girls, that's a lot of words. What that all means is we are gonna match the green with the green, we're gonna match yellow with yellow, and we're going to match red with red. All right, and so the way that we're gonna do that is to make an apple tree. All right, so all you need, you guys, is a piece of brown paper so we can make the trunk of the trees. You'll need one piece of green, you'll need one piece of yellow, and you will need one piece of red paper. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our first piece of brown paper here, and we're gonna fold it in half, and that just makes it easier to cut the tree trunk. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is cut a thick line like this, all right, and because I folded my paper, that actually gives me two at once, so now I have two tree trunks, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is cut one more, because I have three different colors that we are going to sort today, all right? And I now have three tree trunks like this. All right, you guys, so what I wanna do now is I wanna place them on a piece of paper. So let me get another piece of paper here. All right, I have my green piece of paper here. What I'm going to do is place these tree trunks on this piece of paper. So I have my glue, which is also a great activity to work with kids' finger muscles, right? We are going to glue these three tree trunks onto my piece of paper. All right, and I'm gonna turn them over. And so what we're doing is we're pressing, we're squeezing, we're working all those preschool skills. All right, and then I have three tree trunks like this. All right, but I know that apples can sometimes come in red apples, there can be green apples, and there can be yellow apples. So I have a red, a yellow, and a green piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do to make a tree top is just to cut a circle. So grown-ups, it doesn't have to be exact and it doesn't have to be huge, all right? It could even, you could fold your paper in fours if you wanna do it that way. And you can just freehand a circle. And if the boys and girls are working on their scissor skills, it's a great chance to begin to do that while they're home and they're being supervised. All right, so I have my three circles that I'm gonna glue on top here and that's gonna make it look like an apple tree. So let me just give a little bit of glue and I'm gonna put that down. All right, and then I'm gonna do my yellow circle and I'm going to glue it. And my last circle is green, so I'm gonna put my glue like this. So I'm squeezing my fingers and then when I glue pieces, I use my finger muscles like this to push down. All right, so it will end up being three trees like this. So I have my three tree trunks that are brown and I have a red tree, a yellow tree, and a green tree. All right, and now what we're gonna do, boys and girls, is we are going to take some cereal pieces. Now you could use candy pieces, you might have cereal pieces that come in colors, you might have Legos, you might have Swedish fish, you might have um, fruit snacks. Whatever it is that you can find that would give you different colors, Okay, and then that can sort. So boys and girls, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach in. So what I'm doing is I am using my fingers and my pincer grasp, which is also a good preschool skill. I found a red piece like this. And then what I wanna do is I want to glue it, and I know it's food, so this isn't gonna be edible afterwards. And I'm gonna match it with the red tree. So I'm just gonna take some glue like this. And grownups, if you have pom-poms, if you have different things at home, you can use those. All right, boys and girls, so you see I put the red piece on my red tree. All right, now let's see, I picked a green piece. So now I have to look at my trees and see which one matches, all right? And that's all we're doing, boys and girls, we are matching colors. This is a color matching game, but a fancy word for that is called sorting. We are putting it where it goes or where it matches. So I have my red piece on my red tree, my green piece on my green tree, and then 
I'm going to find a yellow piece and I'm going to look to find my yellow tree and I'm going to place my piece right on my yellow tree like this. All right. So here we go. So what I've done is I've sorted or I've matched my color pieces, my cereal pieces onto the different colors. Now, boys and girls, in my cereal bowl over here, I have a blue piece. So now if I were doing sorting and I was looking to find the blue piece to go on a blue tree, I don't have a blue tree. This piece does not belong. So I have to put that one back. All right, so you can continue taking different pieces and matching them where they might go. And grownups, you could do this with, um, I just did apples because it is September, it is apple season. It made it a whole thematic lesson for me to focus on apples. Um, but if you wanted to just lay out different pieces of paper, give your child um, Fruit Loops or whatever it is that you have in your home, there are plenty of things in our houses that we have without going out and buying fancy educational toys um, that you can use to teach these same fundamental concepts. Okay, so again, we talked about sorting today. A lot of kids really don't um, master this until kindergarten and first grade, but certainly when we introduce activities to kids at a young age and we practice with them, we will see when they grasp that concept and then they can just keep practicing those skills. And when they do go off to school, the teachers will then use that foundation and build upon it. All right, boys and girls, so this is my apple sorting tree. You can also then, grownups, take this to a counting activity. So once they've sorted all the pieces of a certain color, they can count up how many are red, how many are yellow, how many are green. You can then ask them which tree has more, which tree has less. And what that does is it begins to introduce them to the concept of numbers, and that forms their um, math readiness skills. All right, so they become um, familiar with numbers, they become familiar with which is greater, which is less than, different things like that, which will help them when they learn math. All right, boys and girls, so you got a math lesson, a color lesson today, and now what we're going to do is we are going to read a story. All right, so you can keep focusing on your sorting. You could either stop the video at this point and finish that project or go back to it at another time. Or while I'm reading my story, you could be sorting and listening. All right, so my story today, you guys, is my favorite book ever. And since we made apple trees today, I decided to read a story about this coconut tree. All right, and this is called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And in this story, instead of having cereal pieces on a tree, there are letters that are climbing up this tree. All right, so again, my book is called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This was written by Bill Martin Jr. and John Arambald, and it is illustrated by Lois Erler. And it is called Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And this is a great story because it introduces us to all the letters of the alphabet. All right, you guys. So grown-ups, you will notice that in the text, all of the letters that are written are the capital letters, the uppercase letters. And all the illustrations down here in colors are our lowercase letters. All right. So here we go, boys and girls. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L-M-N-O-P. And Q-R-S and T-U-V. Do you see this tree is starting to bend? Lots of letters going up the coconut tree. Still more though. Still more W and X-Y-Z. Uh-oh. The whole alphabet up the... Oh no, guess what happens? Chicka chicka, boom boom. All the letters fell out of the tree. Skit scat skadoodle doo, flip flop flea. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. 
Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears, then dust their pants. And if you see all the big capital letters are helping out the little letters, big R, little R, big J, little J. Help us up, cried ABC. They all need to be helped. Next from the pileup, skinny D and stub toe E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. Look at F has a Band-Aid on. All those letters have some boo-boos. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. Boo-hoo. L is knotted like a tie. Oh boy. M is looped, N is stooped, O is twisted, ollie oop, skit, scat, skadoodle do, flip flop flee. Look who's coming, it's black eyed P. Oh no, he hurt his eye, he has a black eye. Q, R, S, and loose tooth T. He knocked his tooth loose. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. Last two come, R, X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. And when the sun goes down, the moon comes up. But chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. Oh no. Here's sneaky little A. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. And that was our story about all those letters racing up to the coconut tree. And here we have all our letters again. So boys and girls, sing with me. Let's do our ABCs. Ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, boys and girls. And this is a great book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, to practice your ABCs. And I know a lot of kids can begin to sing them first, but then to also point out how to identify the letters. So this is a really great book for letter identification. All right, boys and girls, I hope you guys had fun doing our apple sorting trees, reading our story about all the letters running up the coconut tree. We are now gonna finish our program with a song. So if you have any musical instruments at home, now is a great time to go get them. You might have bells like this. You might have a maraca, a rattle, an egg shaker. Hey, you might even have a guitar or a drum. Feel free to get ready with your instrument. We are gonna finish our program by singing Skidamarink. And if you don't have any instruments around, you can go to your kitchen. You can grab two spoons like this, bang them together, and they can make music. Or if you don't wanna get an instrument, guess what, boys and girls? We've got these two hands right here. We can clap them together like we did at the beginning of the program and make some noise or make some music as we sing along to Skid em a Rink. So here we go. I'm gonna use my bells today. I'm gonna make my music a little bit louder and let's sing. Skid em a Rinky Dinky Dink, Skid em a Rinky Do.
yourselves a round of applause. I hope you guys had fun today. Again, I am Miss Karen from A Time for Kids. Keep checking back with your library. They are running lots of virtual programs. Stay connected, stay involved, and keep coming back. Can't wait to see you again in person real soon. Bye now.